What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Rustom Restoration Garage. Today we're going to be putting a choke cable on the C10. The automatic choke just doesn't shut off quick enough. It ends up flooding out and you got to sit there and pretty well baby it for 20 minutes till the choke decides to shut off. So we're going to uh, disconnect that and put a manual cable into it that used to be in the truck on the old carb but my father ended up putting a new carb on it and had the automatic choke so he took it all out but it just doesn't work properly so we'll get down to the garage and start installing that we'll see you down there okay so like i say this choke cable was already hooked up so i just drilled it into the bottom of the dash and i just i don't know if you can see up in there where i got it going up there i just put it in where the speedometer cable comes in through the firewall but i'll get a push through there Get it screwed up onto here and then the automatic choke that is on it with the linkage here i'm going to disconnect this see if i can bring that cable around the front of the motor somewhere just bring it in through here so it'll pull on this so when i pull on the cable choke will be closed when i push on it it'll be sh open but we'll get the interior part done and then we'll come out here and start messing around with this set up a little better all right so this is the where the clock spring is for the automatic choke it ends up uh, when it's cold and you touch the throttle here if I can get it to move then it'll shut the choke off and then as it heats up it's slowly supposed to let it out but it ends up flooding it and uh, doesn't let it off quick enough so it's just nothing but a pain. You got to wait for it to warm up. Keeps flooding itself out and everything. So what I'm going to try to do is take this. Put it in through this hole. That's probably why it doesn't work very well either. Because I just noticed that's broke. But uh, try to put that through this hole here. Get this cover off. Get the spring out. And see if I can hook it up to the arm. Whatever's in here. And get it to work that way. That way I don't got to make too many brackets and stuff. But we'll get these screws out, take this off, and see what we got underneath.
So that's that spring that hooks onto that to open and close it kind of thing. So what I need it to do is try to get my wire in here. What I might have to do is loop it around and then get it so when I pull the choke out, it's shut off. And then when I push it in, it'll be on, which is the opposite of what I want. But I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. So we'll see if we can get this wire hooked up and uh, test it out. I'm gonna have to unhook. Take that off so I can get at it a little better. So my first plan didn't work with the thing that was on here with the spring in it. So what I did was take the screw out of the carb here, made a little piece of sheet metal, a little clamp underneath of it, got it hooked onto there. So when you pull on it, it'll open and close. And the high idle thing still hooked up, but I didn't end up filming making this little piece and stuff like that. I didn't have my camera in the garage there, so anyways. That'll be the end of it for this one. Wasn't much of a video, but hopefully it'll help somebody out. If not, hopefully it was kind of entertaining. But uh, hit the like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.